Tesla is facing a crucial decision at its Gigafactory in Texas. Should they continue producing the 4680 battery cells or abandon production and purchase from external suppliers? This decision hinges not only on significantly cutting production costs for the 4680 cells projected to reduce by up to 30%, but also on the potential to enhance charging performance. Currently, the production rate is approximately 7 gigawatt hours a year, but whether these targets can be met by the end of the year remains uncertain. So why are Tesla's innovations in the 4680 battery cell pivotal for sustaining their leadership in electric vehicles? What reasons led Tesla to decide on a comprehensive improvement of its 4680 battery? The first generation of 4680 cells has faced challenges regarding charging efficiency and energy density. Tesla has also encountered difficulties in producing cathodes using the dry electrode coating DBE method. Although this process reduces production time and costs, it poses significant technical challenges. The situation has gotten more complex since the key inventor of the dry electrode method left Tesla last year. However, there have been recent positive developments. For instance, Tesla's VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, announced during the first quarter earnings call that the 4680 production is surpassing even Cybertruck's production, capable of supporting over a thousand trucks each week. Despite this good news, if Tesla fails to address the core performance issues of the 4680 cells, mass production could still result in poor choice for future vehicle models. In a previous investor conference, Tesla's senior VP of powertrain and energy engineering, that's Drew Boglino, revealed that they are ready to introduce an improved version of the 4680 with a higher energy density by 10% compared to the first gen, equivalent to about 18 to 20%, or approximately 7 gigawatts a year. This improved design achieves a 10% increase in energy density through optimization processes and mechanical design. Here in Texas, Tesla is preparing to launch Cybertruck with over 10% higher energy density. Fortunately, Tesla has introduced a significant change to enhance 4680 cell in its second generation, primarily by altering the chemical composition of materials. A key discovery includes increased energy density achieved primarily through a lower profile cell design, increased available space for additional electrodes, and the capability of a thinner outer cell. His team have disclosed new details regarding changes in the cathode and anode chemistry of the 4680 Gen 2 cells. According to Elon, the new cells in the Model Y are manufactured at Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, and are based on NCMA chemistry with 82% nickel, 11% cobalt, 5% manganese, and 3% aluminum. Compared to Gen 1, there has been a slight increase in nickel and aluminum content while cobalt has decreased. Regarding the anode, it's made of natural graphite and doped with a small small amount of silicon, similar to the Gen 1 positive electrode. These adjustments are crucial in understanding how Gen 2 surpasses Gen 1. Testing of the first generation 4680 cells showed that they used NMC811 cathode chemistry, 80% nickel, 10% manganese, 10% cobalt, with an energy density of 232.5 watt hours per kilogram. The first generation 4680 cells did not use silicon in the anode, but Musk's test on the new cells discovered a small amount, around 4% silicon. This is intriguing because Drew Boglino previously mentioned that the 4680 cells did not have silicon in the anode. Including the silicon, even in a small amount, can enhance cell performance by increasing energy density and improving overall efficiency. Tesla is also working to incorporate NMC955 cathode chemistry into their 4680 cells, replacing the NMC811 chemistry. They are also experimenting with an asymmetric coating layer, where one side of the material is thicker than the other to enhance the cell's winding ability. In line with the 4680 cells, it's noteworthy that Tesla is testing NMC973 chemistry, another potential advancement expected to debut late this year. How will these changes enhance the performance of the Model Y and other future Tesla vehicles? Now that we know all about the changes in the next generation of the 4680 cells compared to the previous one, let's get into the next section and discuss another important question. How will these changes enhance the performance of future Tesla vehicles? Tesla is currently testing the NMC973 chemistry, another potential advancement expected to debut by late 2024. With all these changes in the new 4680 cells, we can expect a significant improvement in the performance of the Model Y. 
and other future Tesla vehicles. The shift in battery chemistry is a strategic move. Adding aluminum to the negative electrode and reducing cobalt content is a popular strategy. Cobalt, while improving battery lifespan and safety, is expensive and raises ethical concerns. The new chemistry could substantially reduce battery costs and consequently the costs of vehicles. Furthermore, NCMA cathode combining manganese and aluminum helps reduce reliance on cobalt, addressing cost and sustainability concerns without compromising battery performance. Including aluminum also enhances cathode structural stability, safety, and longevity. With positive results from NMCA cathodes, Tesla may continue using them for their effectiveness in reducing cobalt dependency. It's believed that LG Chem is supplying Tesla with completed cathode rolls or cathode powders. LG Chem has been a pioneer in the NCMA chemistry and recently started construction on the largest cathode material plants in North America in Clarksville, Tennessee. This $1.6 billion plant specializes in NCMA cathode materials with an annual production capacity of 60,000 tons, enough to supply energy for approximately 600,000 electric vehicles every year, each with a range of over 300 miles. Additionally, Tesla is reportedly finalizing a large contract to purchase a significant amount of electrode materials from LG Energy Solution, a subsidiary of LG Chem. Tesla's purchasing team recently placed an order for electrodes worth $6 trillion won from LG. Discussions are ongoing, and a contract is expected to be signed in the latter half of the year. Supply is set to commence next year and projected to last between six and seven years. The ordered electrodes from Tesla are estimated to be installed in 1.3 to 1.4 million electric vehicles, accounting for approximately 70% of Tesla's total battery production last year. Manufacturers typically combine anode and cathode materials with conductive and binder materials to produce electrodes. These electrodes are then assembled into battery cells and supplied to automotive manufacturers. Tesla's ordering of electrodes indicates that they are requiring these components ahead of the assembly phase. While the article doesn't specify whether these electrodes are cathodes, anodes, or both, it's believed Tesla's primarily purchasing cathodes. This seems reasonable as Tesla's devised a method to produce anodes entirely through a dry process, while cathodes pose the real challenge. Starting from August this year, LG Energy Solution will assist Tesla in ramping up production of the 4680 cells. According to CEO Kim Dong-myung, Mass production of these cells will commence at LG's plant in Korea from mid-August to September. Kim also mentioned exploring various options for cylindrical cell production with a 4680 format at LG's facility in Nanjing, China. Additionally, LG Energy Solution plans to start producing lithium iron phosphate LFP cells, mainly sourced from Chinese manufacturers, by the second half of next year. LG is also in discussions with other automakers like BMW, GM, and Stellantis regarding the adoption of the 4680 format due to its superior characteristics. An article from a Chinese newspaper outlines Tesla's ambitious goal to reduce the cost of the 4680 cells below what it pays to its suppliers. The report suggests that if this cost reduction goal isn't achieved next year, Tesla may consider abandoning the 4680 cell project. However, a recent research report from the China International Capital Corporation CICC, indicates that as manufacturing processes get better and production lines stabilize, the production yield of the 4680 cells is expected to steadily increase. Large format cylindrical cell designs are expected to gradually penetrate other automakers beyond Tesla. It's estimated that by 2025, the total installed capacity of 4680 and other large Large format cylindrical cells could exceed 180 gigawatt hours, accounting for about 12.2% of the total installed capacity of electric vehicle batteries. Some engineers working on the 4680 cell express confidence in achieving this goal, believing that as long as Tesla does not insist on producing cathodes through the dry process and is willing to buy them externally, focusing on improving production efficiency and costs, the 4680 cell project is likely going to hit its cost reduction target. How do Tesla's achievements in their battery factories meet industry standards? Tesla has achieved a remarkable milestone of producing 50 million cells, representing a significant advancement in manufacturing and capability and highlighting the efficiency of operations at the Texas Gigafactory. The scale and speed at which Tesla is operating is unprecedented, enabling the company to meet the increasing demand for EVs and continue innovating in battery technology. The continuous production and ramp-up of 4680 cells are evident of Tesla's dedication and innovation, consistent 
constantly pushing the boundaries of battery technology. Tesla is focused on reducing production costs to make this type of battery cheaper than those of other manufacturers by the end of the year, and that's crucial for making EVs more affordable and applicable to new models like the Tesla van, the Model 2, and recently the RoboTaxi, while still expanding their applications around the world. Production efficiency is getting better week by week, rapidly driving down selling prices. One of the most interesting aspects of the 4680 cell is its innovative design with entirely new cells, supported by advanced technologies like tablet design developed by Tesla. This new approach not only improves battery performance, but also enhances manufacturing efficiency and reduces reliance on expensive and scarce materials. Tesla is applying a 100% dry electrode process to the positive electrode of this battery, increasing energy density and reducing overall weight, contributing to improved vehicle efficiency. While the fully dry electrode process for the negative electrode is still underway, it promises to further reduce production costs and increase energy efficiency. Elon is leveraging and expanding their scale while adding more production lines, expanding facilities. A new factory is under construction in Nevada with an annual production capacity of 100 gigawatts for 4680 cells. Supporting Tesla's pickup trucks and future models such as the newly announced robo-taxis. The performance of the 4680 cells not only enhances current electric vehicles, but also paves the way for future innovations. With an energy density of 204 watt-hours a kg, these cells outperform many others on the market. Tesla is working to achieve even higher energy densities, aiming for over 300 watt-hours a kilogram. Integrating 4680 cells as part of the structural pack is another significant advancement, reducing overall weight and improving energy efficiency. Compared to BYD's Blade battery with an energy density of 168 watt-hours a kilogram, Tesla's 4680 cells clearly excel in both performance and cost-effectiveness. Tesla is also focusing on improving the durability of the batteries. With proper management, these batteries can last anywhere from 300,000 to 500,000 miles, while improper handling can reduce the lifespan by about 30,000 miles, underscoring the importance of proper charging and maintenance practices. One of the biggest challenges in producing these batteries is the scarcity of lithium. Currently, countries like Chile, the US, and China possess large reserves of lithium, but increasing demand is putting pressure on the supply chain. Tesla is working to ensure stable lithium supply to sustain mass production of 4680 cells. Despite these challenges, Tesla is determined to maintain its leadership in the EV market, continuously innovating to improve efficiency and reduce costs. The company is also expanding internationally with physical infrastructure and strategic partnerships to support global growth. Tesla's output in Texas has reached unprecedented levels, with significant inventory buildup to ensure continuous supply, supporting the production of Cybertruck and future models using 4680 cells. The Cybertruck stands to benefit greatly from these new cells, with a capacity of 123 kilowatt hours and requiring 1,360 cells a vehicle. Currently, production is sufficient to manufacture nearly 2,800 trucks a month, not only meeting current demand but also creating a strategic reserve for the future. Tesla plans to introduce robo-taxis, autonomous vehicles that will utilize the next generation of batteries. Production of these batteries is progressing rapidly and is expected to launch in August. This vehicle promises to revolutionize urban transportation with energy efficiency and additional cost savings. Tesla continues to innovate in other areas to further enhance and expand its capabilities. Should Tesla intensify collaboration with Chinese companies to accelerate development and innovation in battery technology? Under pressure, Tesla is also considering increasing its procurement of batteries from external suppliers, particularly Chinese companies. Previously, media revealed that starting from the second half of 2023, Tesla began purchasing positive electrode coils, a component of battery cells, from two second-tier Chinese battery companies and shipping them to its factory in Texas for 4680 battery production. These companies were chosen by Tesla after evaluating cylindrical battery production lines of Chinese electric battery companies last year. Positive electrode coils account for about 35% of the total cell cost. The practice of procuring positive electrode coils from China for this battery production may continue until the third quarter of this year.
A source close to Tesla indicated that Tesla's battery supplier, Panasonic, will only commence mass production of 4680 batteries in the third quarter of the year. In March of this year, foreign media reported that Tesla is seeking material suppliers in China and South Korea to help reduce costs and improve energy density for its latest 4680 battery type. Meanwhile, the company is addressing efficiency and production issues related to the 4680, which previously delayed Cybertruck's launch. Information suggests that Tesla has been exploring collaboration with Chinese companies such as Ningbo Ranbei New Energy Technology Company Limited and Shuzhou Dongshan Precision Manufacturing Company Limited to reduce material costs. Currently, Tesla is ramping up production of 4680 batteries. If Tesla can resolve efficiency and process issues with the 4680 battery and achieve its ambitious production targets, the 4680 battery could ultimately be the key to Musk's dream of producing 20 million vehicles a year by 2030. In summary, many Chinese battery companies like Cattle, Bach Battery, EVE Energy, Kalb, and Rept are involved in the development of the 4680 battery. It's expected that more Chinese companies will appear on Tesla's battery supplier list in the future. Why is Tesla prioritizing the upgrade to the 4680 battery at this time? The comprehensive upgrade to the 4680 battery will bring Tesla several key benefits. Tesla's new 4680 battery features higher energy density and optimized design, extending the range and overall performance of vehicles like Model Y and future models. Specifically, the energy density of the 4680 battery is improved by approximately 10% compared to previous generations. This means Tesla's electric vehicles can travel farther per charge, better meeting consumer demand. For instance, if a current model has a range of 300 miles with current batteries, with a 4680 battery, this range could increase to around 330 miles. This improvement not only makes Tesla vehicles more appealing to consumers, but also enhances Tesla's competitive edge in a rapidly expanding electric vehicle market. The more efficient production process of the 4680 battery saves time and costs. According to Tesla, the production cost of the 4680 battery could be reduced by up to 56% due to design improvements in manufacturing processes. This cost reduction allows Tesla to lower vehicle prices, making electric vehicles more accessible to a broader range of customers. For example, if the current production cost per kilowatt hour is $100 with a 4680, this cost could potentially drop to around $44 a kilowatt hour. This not only helps reduce the cost of current models, but also opens up opportunities to develop new vehicle models at more affordable prices, meeting diverse market demands. With improvement in battery production components, Tesla can produce a larger quantity of batteries in a shorter time frame. Currently, Tesla's achieved the milestone of producing 50 million 4680 battery cells at its Texas factory, showcasing superior manufacturing capabilities. With this production speed and scale, Tesla can meet increasing market demand and efficiently expand production capacity. This is particularly crucial as Tesla plans to launch new models like Cybertruck and future autonomous vehicles. Enhancement in the chemical composition of the battery contribute to increased durability and safety, reducing the risks of explosions and extending the battery's life. Tesla's new 4680 batteries are designed with dry electrode technology and improved cell casing, enhancing mechanical durability and safety. Battery life expectancy is projected to extend from 300,000 to 500,000 miles, and that's an impressive figure compared to the current battery types. This minimizes risks for users and builds trust and reliability for Tesla. Additionally, using less cobalt in battery components helps reduce ethical and environmental concerns related to cobalt mining. With higher energy efficiency and sustainable production processes, the 4680 battery helps reduce carbon emissions, contributing to environmental protection. Tesla has implemented a dry electrode manufacturing process for the 4680 battery, reducing energy consumption and carbon emissions during production. This aligns with Tesla's long-term goal of promoting renewable energy use and sustainability. Additionally, Tesla's introduced the Powerwall 3, an energy storage system using the 4680 battery, making it easier for consumers to manage their energy costs and transition to a more sustainable lifestyle. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.